Somebody pray some brethren. Glory to God. And we're so glad with leading thus far. Praise the Lord. Time for the ministry of the word. But uh, brethren, we're here for no other reason. And um, it has to be a desire within us. First of all, to share the things of God. To come with him. To speak with him. To commune with him. be otherwise but again he has been faithful and again he's bigger than all our problems no matter what it is take it to Jesus praise the Lord and I think we all have a story and I think we all have a song and he's coming back again brethren and hold on to that Jesus is my deliverer ah oh, glory to God ye Lord somebody praise them brethren worthy is the lamb praise the Lord we're the pastor Sister Colony, the choir musicians, we thank the Most High God, those that are visiting with us today, great and one and all, and those that joined us on Ustream and other methods, praise God, we're thankful for you, thankful for the many years of faithful service to this gospel, and God will see you through, praise the Lord, time for the ministry of the word, brethren, and Dr. Colley's here, man sent from God, anointed and appointed, and he comes with a word. Who needs a word today? Huh? Anybody need a word today? Oh, yes. And if I don't hear from him today, brethren, oh, glory to God. If I don't hear from him today, yeah, glory. I can't come the same, leave the same way. Praise the Lord Jesus. If I don't hear from him today, but he has a word for me. Please welcome the man of God with the word for his people today, none other than Dr. Colin Colley. Please put your hands together, brethren. Praise he the Lord. Keep it right there. Praise he the Lord. Somebody shout a hallelujah in the house. Amen. We honor the Lord Jesus Christ to be here this afternoon it's the last sunday of 2018 a year that has been challenging amen a year that has left and have challenged our faith our confidence but thank god amen we're still resolute that god is a hey, god is praise the lord we Bless the Lord to be in his house. Amen. For the mind to be in his house again today. Amen. Greetings to Elder Lloyd. Give the Lord thanks for him in the wonderful name of Jesus. Praise God. And certainly to the entire ministerial staff of this great house. I thank God for all our officers of this house. Give the Lord thanks for them. Praise God. Praise God. And, and to all the saints of the most high God, amen, we just salute you in the wonderful and exalted name, the name of Jesus. So blessed to have Pastor Allen and his wife and daughter with us, amen, from the island of Jamaica. Give the Lord thanks for them, give the Lord thanks, amen, and, and certainly to those that are visiting us from South Camp Road, God bless you again, and Amen. Give the Lord thanks for them. Amen. Good to see Brother Christopher. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Amen. We pray that the Lord will just touch him today. Wonderful. God is in that business. Come on. Give the Lord thanks for them. Amen. And good to see Sister Keisha from Birmingham. She's one of our distant members. Amen. That always watching our service in the name of the Lord. Amen. I miss Deacon Bon and I miss Elder Newby. I guess the flu is on them. Praise God. And we pray the strength of the Lord. Amen. That the Lord will be their healer. He is a healer. Uh, do I have a witness in the house of Jesus? Amen. And special greetings to Mother Ricketts. Amen. Come on, give the Lord thanks in the name of the Lord. Amen. Brother Michael, good to see you. 
God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. To the book of Zechariah. This book is nestled among the minor prophets. Praise God. Praise God. Zechariah chapter 9. Praise God. Zechariah chapter 9, reading from verse 9 to 11. If you find it, just shout a hallelujah. Praise God. Mm. If you're there, say, I am there. All right, let's read together verse 9 to verse 11. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass coat. And upon the colt of a foam of an ass. And I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim. And the horse from Jerusalem. And the battle bow shall be cut off. And he shall speak peace unto the heathen. And his dominion shall be from sea even to sea. Verse 12, turn ye to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. Verse 12, let's read verse 12 again. Ye prisoners of hope. Turn to the stronghold, prisoners of hope. And God said, I declare it. And whatever God declare must be. I wish I had a believer in here. Whatever God declare shall be. And God says, I will render double unto thee. Whew. All right. If, uh, if you believe it, tell your neighbor, I'm here for double. I'm here for double. All right. Shout a hallelujah and take your seats in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. The prophet Zechariah as is accepted in the theological arena. Uh, he is, is ascribed as a minor prophet. He's among the 12 minor prophets. Uh, but within the 12, Zechariah stands out most prominent. This is the most complete book of prophecy there is. He speaks about the wrath of God. But he also prophesied concerning the restoration of God's people. And so he, he prophesied during a very dark time. 
in Israel's history. As a matter of fact, the prophet said that he began his prophecy in the eighth month of the second year of Darius, the emperor of Persia. And that places him with the contemporary prophet of Haggai. So he and Haggai prophesied the same time. Um, Zechariah and Haggai was among the first that returned from Babylon. There were 42,360 Jews under the leadership of Zerubbabel. And the high priest Joshua. They came back to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple. Because the temple was destroyed. And so Zechariah became an encourager to the people of God. To tell them it's not over. We can rebuild. Build the house of the Lord. As a matter of fact, nothing is over until God said it's over. Amen. It doesn't matter what's happening, there is hope until God says finish. I don't care what's burned down and what's destroyed, it is not finished until God says it's finished. Hallelujah. And so Zechariah became that encourager. And in time of difficulties, you need an encourager. You need somebody to tell you it's not true. It's not over yet. Praise God. And so the Lord gave Zechariah a very unique uh, prophetic uh, amen ministry. He came forth to the children of Israel and he says, uh, the Lord said to tell you, I was angry with your fathers. But where are your fathers today? Praise God. And the prophet says, the Lord says, return ye to me. Declares the Lord Almighty. Return unto me. Turn from your evil ways. And from your evil practices. But he said they would not listen. And where are they now? Then Zechariah opens his mouth again as the prophetic mantle rest upon him and he views into the future as he says that God is going to do something for his people God has not cast away his people he may chastise them but he's going to restore them he may flog them but he turns around and heals them. Hallelujah. He scattered them. Then he bring them back to the fold. What a God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And he says the Lord. The angel of the Lord said to me. O Lord of hosts. How long will you have mercy on Jerusalem. And on the cities of Judah. Against which you were angry. For 70 years. And the angel of the Lord answered. And talked with me. With good and comforting words. So the angel who spoke with me said to me. Proclaim this saying. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Jerusalem and Zion. With great zeal, I am exceedingly angry with the nations at ease. Therefore, I am returning.
returning to Jerusalem with mercy. My house shall be built. God said, I'm returning to Jerusalem with mercy. God says, I am jealous for Jerusalem. I'm jealous for Zion. Hallelujah. And the jealousy of God is not the human jealousy. Amen. Human's jealousy is, is someone jealous of what somebody else has. But Jesus' jealousy is jealous of what belongs to him. When we give our praise and our worship to another thing or being, then God gets jealous. For praises belongs to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Worship belongs to him. He alone is worthy. He alone is exalted. He alone is God. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody shout a hallelujah. God says, I'm jealous for Zion. For there's something about Zion. Zion is the house of deliverance. Amen. Once you step into Zion, deliverance is in Zion. Hallelujah. Worship and praise is in Zion. Joy is in Zion. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do I have a shout in Zion? Where the Bible says, Praise is waited for thee, O God, in Zion. Then open your mouth and shout a hallelujah. Let the angels hear. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let Michael and Gabriel hear what they cannot do. Amen. The angels can't say hallelujah and glory. But Zion can open their mouth and shout a hallelujah. You're doing something that angels can't do right now. Hallelujah. When you hold up your hand, the angels can't do that. When you say thank you, Jesus, as mighty as Gabriel, amen, and Michael is. They can't say hallelujah. They have never felt the redemptive love of God as what Zion feels. Oh God from Zion. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Shout a hallelujah. I know King David said thou makest man a little lower than the angel. But now I can tell David. David the church and Zion is higher than the angel. For the Bible said for which angel did God die for? But when man sinned Jehovah left heaven hallelujah glory be to God and to which angel has God said thou art my begotten son God has never called an angel a son but he called humanity my son Ooh, God from glory shout hallelujah slap your neighbor said turn to the stronghold hallelujah oh God oh God shout glory here then Zachariah Zachariah continues his prophetic amen proclamation to the people Zachariah said I raised up my eyes and I looked and he he says when I look behold I saw a man with a measuring line and they asked him where are you going with the measuring line and the man said I'm going to measure Jerusalem hallelujah good God from Zion Jerusalem shall be inhabited amen Jerusalem was destroyed the walls was destroyed but the angel is saying run and speak uh, amen and declare it that Jerusalem shall be inhabited uh, 
as towns without walls because of the multitude of men and livestock in it for I says the Lord will be a wall of fire around her God says even though there is not a brick wall around Jerusalem God said I'll be a fire around Jerusalem so that no predator no enemy can come in hallelujah when you're in Zion oh God there is an invisible wall around your life hallelujah that's what David said whom shall I fear for the Lord is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked even my enemies and my foes come upon me to eat my flesh that wall of fire will be around me shout a hallelujah come on shout a hallelujah in Zion this last Sunday of 2018 I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord who make the heaven on the earth shout Zion this is a day of shouting in Zion hallelujah God says I will be a fire of wall around Jerusalem around Zion around my people shout yeah hallelujah then Zechariah is wrapped up in this prophetic mantle hallelujah and he's prophesying the Holy Spirit has taken over his eyes his mouth his tongue and the prophetic mantle rests upon him and Zechariah is prophesying and Zechariah is saying I saw the high priest named Joshua his garments was not clean and Satan took a howl and Satan began to accuse Zechariah and to accuse Joshua saying your garment is spotted hallelujah but the Lord said to Satan the Lord rebuke you he's a branch plucked from the fire and the Lord pull Joshua aside and change his garment and put on a new garment on Joshua that's what God did to Zion he took our dirty garment and clothed us with a new garment shout oh God from Zion shout yeah shout yeah Good God from Zion, hallelujah, good Lord, oh God, we sing a song, look at Jesus, wash me, come on, tell somebody, look at me now, Jesus, wash me, I wish I had a help in here, Jesus, wash me, my garment was spotted, my garment was dirty, but God rebuked Satan for you, and God pulled you aside and change your garment come on hallelujah come on he gave you beauty for ashes come on the spirit of joy for the spirit of heaviness do I have a witness in the house shout yeah tell your neighbor I am that branch that God plucked out of the fire of destruction shout yeah my God oh God something just dropped in my spirit so death and hell had our name and can I get a witness I said death and hell had our name but when the blood came it canceled our name from death and hell come on beloved that's why I'm here with a shout that's why I'm here with a hallelujah the blood cancer the blood take my name off the list of destruction the blood took my name off the list of dead and God said live shall live hallelujah good Lord then Zachariah says I saw a flying scroll 
good God. Hallelujah. And Zachariah asked the angel that walked with him. He's in a prophetic mode. And he's walking with an angel. And an angel is giving him the interpretation of every prophetic manifestation that the Lord showed him. And he saw the scroll flying. And he said, the angel that walked with me, he asked, what meaneth that? And the angel said, it's the curse that is released over the earth. Hallelujah. Praise God. My God. And so now, he stood there and he, he's watching this panoramic manifestation. He's out of himself. He's in the realm of an enrapturing experience in the spirit realm. And he's seen these dangling manifestations that he cannot interpret by himself. But God sent an angel right beside him. And he's unfolding the mystery of the things that Zechariah is seeing. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. And the four chariots, he says, came from among two mountains. Hallelujah. And one chariot was driven by a red horse. And another was driven by a black horse. And another was driven by a white horse. And another was driven by a grizzled or bay horse. Hallelujah. And God says these are four spirits. That is gone out into the world. Hallelujah. And Zachariah is in this amen prophetic atmosphere. And the Lord says, I am so jealous of my people. Why? Because they are serving another God. Hallelujah. Uh, God says, I am discontented with my people bowing themselves down to another God. Hallelujah. But in the midst of their backsliding, God says, Hallelujah. I am going to restore my chosen people. I'm going to bring them back back to myself only God love is so powerful hallelujah and now Jeremiah Zachariah is saying I saw Jerusalem and he says I see Jerusalem like a trembling pot he saw Jerusalem like a pot and a fire and the heat under the pot was so intensified that the pot begin to shake it speaks of the war and the turbulence and no peace that's why present day Jerusalem is always a problem there never will be peace in Jerusalem until Israel accept the prince of peace that is Jesus Christ for Zechariah said Jerusalem shall be a trembling pot every day seven days a week that's why the entire world is looking towards Jerusalem and the Bible said pray for the peace of Jerusalem hallelujah the center of the world amen Jerusalem is the center of this world that's where all religious amen epics come from hallelujah but thank God Zacharias said there's gonna be a restoration of God's people hallelujah maybe that's where David picked it up and said weeping may endure for a night but joy is coming in the morning shout hallelujah for God said I'm gonna 
restore Zion. I'm going to step back into Zion. Somebody shout Zion. Hallelujah. And so now, beloved, amen. May I say that the soul of a man is very important to God. Hallelujah. Come on. The all absorbing theme and desire of God and even the holy angel is for the salvation of a man's soul. Hallelujah. The great battlefield that is going on right now is the battle for your soul. Oh God from Zion. Amen. God is concerned about your soul more than he's concerned about the universe. God is concerned about your soul than he's concerned about the galaxies and the constellation in the heavens. God is more concerned about your soul. If all the trees on this planet was ever leveled or destroyed, God would not be as concerned about those trees as he's concerned about your soul. The devil is aware how important your soul is. That's why he's battling right now for your soul. That's why he's fighting for your soul. Amen. The Bible says amen that a man's soul amen is valued more than the entire world not the earth the world that means all the planets and all the stars and all the gold and all the, the diamonds your soul is more valuable than all the riches in the world Jesus said for what value or profit if a man gain the whole world and lose his soul or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul come on now he said your soul is worth more than the entire world and what can you give in exchange for your soul that shows how important your soul is hallelujah the unseen world in the unseen world the angels and even your dead grandmother and grandfather the unseen world is declaring right now don't go to hell hallelujah come on for the rich man and the poor man die and the bible says when the rich man finds himself in hell he said father Abraham can you send somebody back to earth for me I got some brothers over there tell them not to come here can I get a witness in the house hallelujah that's why Jesus said oh God if thy right hand offend thee he said cut it off it is better for thee to enter into life eternal with one hand than having both hands and go to hell can I get a witness in the air then Matthew was much more detailed on the same subject and Matthew said Jesus said wherefore if thy hand or thy foot offend thee cut them off and cast them for me it is better for thee to enter into life halt our main rather than having both hands and both feet and be cast into everlasting fire and if thine eye offend thee pluck it out for it is better to enter into heaven with one eye than to have both eyes and be into hell that's how intense that's how 
tormented hell is going to be but Jesus is saying whatever is going to hold you back cut it off come on somebody say cut it off do I have a witness in the house shout cut it off glory be to God hallelujah what is standing between your soul and God hallelujah every man has got to look and see what it is that is standing between your soul and God hallelujah and Jesus said if that thing is going to stop you he said cut it off this is Jesus' declaration it's not Matthew Jesus declared ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters this last Sunday of the year 2018 I must declare there is a place called hell and there is a place called heaven hallelujah can I get a witness in here there is a place of torment and there is a place of blessedness shout it out hallelujah can I get a witness in the house to say yes Lord hallelujah but Jesus has come Jesus is here come on hallelujah the king is here hallelujah the salvation is here the deliverer is here the healer is here hallelujah the resurrection is here the life is here the glory is here the shekinah is here the upper taker is here hallelujah the light is here in darkness he can guide you through the darkness a hallelujah Sha a hallelujah but so now Zachariah speaks to some prisoners of hope hallelujah but there are also some prisoners that I have no hope but Zachariah is saying turn ye to the stronghold ye prisoners of hope hallelujah for Jesus says other sheep I have are which are not of this fold he said I'm gonna bring them in I'm talking to that prisoner right now hallelujah you have not yet been identified with this fall hallelujah you have not yet tasted of the heaven that should come you have not yet baptized in Jesus name hallelujah but Jesus said to tell you I'm gonna to bring you in into this fold and the fold will become one fold shout hallelujah eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has it entered into the hearts of men the thing that the law have in store for them who are these prisoners of hope number one those prisoners are those that are going through the furnace of affliction right now hallelujah God is watching God is seeing and he's about to deliver you hallelujah what the Bible says God permitted to be for all things work to together for the good come on to them that love God to them that are the call according to his purpose hallelujah God is about to deliver you 
out of your affliction right now. Hallelujah. Your morning has come. Good God. Hallelujah. You carried it for years. Hallelujah. But your morning is now. Do I have a witness in the house? Hallelujah. Good God. And then Isaiah picked it up and said that the Lord said, the meek and the brokenhearted and the captives and the prisoners and the mourners that the Lord is about to deliver them for he said the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me amen to preach the gospel to the meek hallelujah and to bind up the broken heart hallelujah to put your heart back together that's the business that the Lord is in your heart has been broken by tears of life by disappointments but the Lord Jehovah is a master builder of the hearts of men hallelujah dry up your tear the builder is beside you oh Lord the master builder is right beside you he's not just going to repair it he's going to give you a new heart for he said I will take away the hearts of stone and I will plant a new heart I'll give you a heart transplant only God can give you a good heart transplant men tried but the survivors can't live too long but when God give you a heart transplant you will live for years he is the master builder come on the master architect the preserver of life he said I I'm come that he might have life and have it more abundantly I am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live and he that liveth and abideth in me shall never shall never shall never Hallelujah. Good law. And so now the repairer and the rebuilder of hearts is in the house. But he says, I look for the captives. Hallelujah. Those that are captive by Satan and satanic forces. Hallelujah. You look good, but you're a captive. Satan holds you. Satan controls you. Come on. Satan is your master. He tells you what to do. And you just follow. You're a captive. You're well-dressed captive. Come on. You're educated captive. Come on. You just matriculated from the university with some degree. But you're still a captive. Hallelujah. You drive a nice car but you're a captive you live in the right neighborhood but you're a captive you can speak and articulate well but your mind is a captive to Satan hallelujah you do what he tells you to do he said drink you drink he said smoke you smoke he said take drugs you take drugs he said hang out in the night you hang out whatever the devil tell you to do come on you're a captive Somebody shall captive. Hallelujah. But the Lord is in the house. He's going to give liberty to the captive. He's going to set you free right now. Today is your day. Shout now. Shout now. Somebody shout a hallelujah. My God. Somebody's one hallelujah away from a miracle. Open your mouth and shout a hallelujah 
Your miracle is here. Your miracle is here. Open your mouth and shout. And your deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Captive people. Got a good job. But you have no joy. Kosha. Your rent is paid. Your mortgage is paid. Food on the table. But no joy. Baba Kosha. Kotaba Hosha. Manda Raba Husa. If you want to buy a dress, you can buy a dress. If you want to buy a suit, you can buy a suit. There's money in the bank. But there's a void. No joy. You dress good and walk before the public, but inside of you, there is a void that needs to be filled. And if God don't fill it, the devil is going to destroy you. Turn ye to the stronghold. Prisoners of hope. Hush. Kobo hosha. Whose good job have job status, educational acumen, material prosperity, the most blessed era of apostolics is now children born get everything. Children born. Sleep 10 hours and get up after 10 hours and say, I'm tired. And mommy and daddy give them everything they want. Makosha. I'm looking at the generation, looking at some captive people. God, look on us through his, 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 his divinity. And he sees souls that are captive. And the devil is glad when your soul is captive. He's not telling you to break the back. He's not telling you to shoot anybody. But he's marching into your house and possess your soul. And even though you sit in a church, your soul is in captivity. No joy. Absolutely no joy. But the prophet Zachariah said to tell you. The Lord says. Turn to me. I am the stronghold. Prisoners of hope. And I will render double. Jesus sent me here somebody. Can I get a witness in here? Can I get a hallelujah in here? Crank me up a little bit. Let me shout this. Last few minutes in this. Hallelujah. God said to tell you. If you turn to me. I'm going to give you double. Who God from Zion. Hallelujah. Double joy. Can I get a witness? Somebody shout double joy. Double, 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 double. Everything double. Job double. Money double. House double. Car double. I wish I had somebody in the house to shout double. Ushaya, kutoshaya, hallelujah, hallelujah, come on shout here, yeah. 
Tell somebody beside you. The Lord said double. Hallelujah. All you need to do. Is to open your mouth. And say Lord. I'm coming home. Hallelujah. I'm not going to stay. In captivity any longer. Hallelujah. The Lord is right beside you. He's right beside you. He is nigh. He even in your mouth if you can just open your mouth and shout let the devil hear that I'm coming out come on tell the devil I'm coming out no more captivity I want freedom I want freedom remember the captive the man or the spirit that holds you captive don't want you to be loose it takes the oppressed to fight his way out come on that's why the bible says resist the devil and he will flee come on freedom is never freely given by the oppressed it must be demanded by the oppressed it is your soul that the devil has in captivity get up out of it Oh, hallelujah. Rise out of your captivity. And said, I'm marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. Zion has deliverance. Zion has healing. Zion has joy. Zion have happiness. Zion have power. Zion have the presence of God. Zion has the anointing and the anointing destroys the yoke. Shout! Shout! Shout hallelujah! Let the devil hear. I'm coming out. Come on. I'm coming out of captivity. I'm coming out of the prisons. The doors are open. Come on. The doors are open just shout a hallelujah like Paul and Silas let the prison door open shout a glory shout a hallelujah shout a thank you Jesus the prison doors are open now shout again the prison doors are open shout again the prison doors are open shout again the windows are open shout again hallelujah shout yeah What the canker worm and the caterpillar has eaten. Kosher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, I wish I had a witness. All that the canker worm, mother robbers have eaten. All that the caterpillar has eaten and destroyed. God says, Double, double, Marco Shata Shata Babak Rakutash. Somebody show double, double, double. Kushaya Lababa Koshetoria Baba Kosa Shanda Bahosa. God is repositioning you right now. It doesn't matter what the ending says. He can't stop the blessing coming. Can I get a witness? The enemy can't stop what God is about to do in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's going to try, but he can't stop it. God is about to do it now. He says, I declare it. And whatever God declares, it must accomplish. Tell every warlock and every witch. 
tell every good man and every voodoo man. Say, look at me. God says, double. Double blessing. Double anointing. Double unction. I wish I had a church in here. I'm telling you what God said. Double. Double. Double anointing. Somebody rest your hand on your shoulder and your stomach and say, Double anointing. Double anointing. Double unction. Double power. Double revelation. Oh, Shabbat. My God, my God. Oh, Shia. Kuta Shia. Somebody shout a hallelujah. Say double, double up. Once you have double power, all demon can only look at you. Have to back up. Hallelujah. Every wicked man have to back up. When you step into work, they're going to look at you and back up. Talk to you from afar. Can't come close. Shakai. Kushai. Shatabos. Kushai. The Peter anointing. The Peter anointing. The Peter anointing. Kata Shibo. Rava Kotoshai. Somebody shot the Peter anointing. The Peter anointing. Peter anointing. You know what is the Peter anointing? Peter anointing is this. Come, 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 come. Just the shadow passed in Sister Dainty. Heal. Come, come. What? Shadow. Healing. Shadow. Deliverance. Shadow. Power. Shadow. Break yokes. Shadow. Give you deliverance. Shadow opening prison doors. Shadow open, let the captive go free. Shadow. Sh I'm not speaking a word. I'm just we the anointing, the double anointing. Can I get a witness in here? Some of you don't get it yet. Ah, Shatabo. Oh, Shata. Makuta. Shakuta. Oh, Lababa Koshaya. Shout a hallelujah. Somebody shout a hallelujah. Somebody said double, double. God said double. I'm taking my double. I'm taking my double. Shout yeah. I'm taking my double. Ata shebo husa. Hallelujah. Shh. Oh, shia. Shout a hallelujah. Shout a hallelujah. Double. Dry up cancer. Double dry up cancer. Double dry up cancer. Double dry. Woo! Shatter. Woo! Shire. Shout it. Yeah. Shout it. Yeah. Shout it. Yeah. This is my day. This is my day. This is my day. Shout it. Yeah. It's what the Lord said to tell you in my closing. Next year, there may be a recession. There may be a problem. The economy will change. Because Zachariah said, a spirit went out and said, curse upon the earth. But the Lord said, don't worry. It won't affect your business, brother Ron. 
It won't affect your business, Sister Angie. It won't affect nobody's business. Can I tell you what God said to tell you? It won't affect it. Don't worry about your job. Church, don't worry about your job. Hushava. Kataba Husha. Kosha. Sister Marcia, don't worry about your job. Ella Grant, don't worry about no job. I don't care how much what's happening in the news, what CNN is saying, what Fox News is saying, oh, but heaven's news is different. Ooh. God still heal. God still deliver. God still promote. For the Lord dropping my spirit to tell you. The economic crisis may come. But he says, remember what I told you in the book of Genesis. When there was a famine in the land. And Isaac decided to go to Egypt. And the Lord said to Isaac, don't go. Stay right in the famine. And God said, plant in the famine. And Isaiah plant in the famine. And his harvest was a hundredfold, not 30, not a hundredfold in the famine. Koshai. Koshai. Hallelujah. That's the same God. That's Daniel, God we serve. That Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, God we serve. That's Elijah God we serve. That's Jeremiah God we serve. That's Zachariah God we serve. That's Nahum God we serve. That Zephaniah God we serve. That's Amos God we serve. Come on, that's Malachi God we serve. Do I have that's Joel God we serve? Shout a hallelujah. Come. God says come to the stronghold you need me praise God hallelujah we invite you come to the stronghold hallelujah so standing beside somebody tell them you'll walk with them to this altar the Lord has sent a word and say come to the stronghold. Just walk with me. Shatabahosha. Kotabahosha. Says, come to the stronghold. Just walk with them. Just walk with them. If you have to walk with them, walk with them. God said, come to the stronghold. Ye prisoners of hope. Koshaya. Koshandalabahosha. Come, come. Just walk with them. Tell them I'll walk with you. I'll walk with you. Tell them I'll walk with you. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come, come. Walk with them. Just walk with them. Just hold them by the hand and walk with them. Come on, come on, come on. Turn ye to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Mm. Praise God. Drink, drink. From the fountain, you can't be. Oh, yes. Every that From 
Oh, yes. And I rose to tell you. Oh, 